Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Can I get a woo woo? I reached 1,000 subscribers. Now, I did reach it a few days ago, but I had already pre-filmed those videos, so I couldn't talk about it. But I want to tell you that thank you so much for those of you who've been following me for a while and even my new subscribers, or even those who haven't subscribed but just click on my video to watch. Thank you so much. It helps so much with um, growing on YouTube. I started YouTube just over two years ago, so it's been a really slow growth for me. But I just wanted to say a thank you. And so wait until the end of this video and you'll see what my giveaway is going to be. Danessa Myricks is now being sold at Sephora, so I got some of her products. Some products I already had. One product I got from Beautylish, and I'll explain where I got what as we go through. So if you're interested in seeing almost a full face of Danessa Myricks, then please keep on watching. But let's go ahead and get started with Danessa Myricks. Okay, so she has her Vision Cream Cover. It's both a foundation and a concealer. These are the sample sizes I got. This is the four and this is the 275. And these are on sale for $5 on her website, on Danessa's website. I didn't know what color to get. I've reviewed these before, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I did moisturize um, heavy hydration. I have on the Charlotte Tilbury moisturizer today. So I'm gonna use four, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that onto the back of my hand. Now the thing with this foundation, it could be, it could go from sheer to full, and I've got that much on my hands, and I'm going to use my It Cosmetics foundation brush, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put that onto my face. And this is a pretty good color for me, a little bit deep. But this is a really, I took barely anything, and this is with one light layer on. So I'm gonna take a little bit more and stipple that into my areas of hyperpigmentation. And you can see it's taking that hyperpigmentation down. Now, I don't really like a full coverage look, so I'm gonna leave it at that, but you can put more. Now, let me go ahead and do the other side of my face. Okay, I put a little bit more on my areas of hyperpigmentation, and look at that. Last time I wore this, I put a oil absorbing primer on and it didn't work very well for my skin so I just took a little bit and put that on. I'm going to use a 2.75 as my concealer and I'm going to put that right on the back of my hand and use a concealer brush to use that because I have dark spots today and I'm just going to only use a tiny tiny bit. I'm going to put that under my eyes. Now the thing with this is um, Danessa Myricks is a famous makeup artist she initially started in the corporate world and then she saw a photo shoot where the makeup artist was having so much fun being creative that that's how she um, got into the beauty world. And a lot of these products are probably designed for the makeup artist because she was self-taught. She didn't have very many products so she used colors to mix and match to get the look she wanted from her models. So that's where a lot of this is going to come in. You'll see that a lot of her products are multi-use products, and that's why. I'll go ahead and try some of her products today. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder under my eyes just so that the concealer doesn't crease. But I'm going to leave the rest of it. I forgot to get her powder. There are a few items that I forgot to get. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put on my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've put my eyebrows on, let's go ahead and go into some of the face products. So one of the items I got was the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. I got this off of Beautylish and I got mine in the color medium one. I've heard so many great things about this balm contour. This is what it looks like. And here's the shade. Doesn't it look like it's gonna be a little deep for me? Well, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and use my foundation brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna stipple that onto my hand to make sure I don't get too much color. Let's stipple that on. Oh, wow, that goes on really nicely. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. Now, granted, I have not powdered because I wanted to use some of these cream products before and just see how that works out because that's how Danessa uses them. 
but that's very pretty. Put a little bit of contour on my chin. Wow, can you guys see that? Put a little bit more. See, now this is where I think I should have powdered before because it's moving my foundation a little bit. But you know, they say cream products with cream products. But I think I fixed that a little bit. Then I'm gonna go into her powder bronzer. I got mine in the color light. And this is what that looks like. Let's go ahead and swatch that. It says it's a powder bronzer, but it's like a balm. So that's what that looks like. Oh, let me swatch the balm contour for you. So that's the balm contour, that's the bronzer. I'm gonna just use my Zoeva face brush. Let's try some of this. Oh, I think this is too light for me, but I'm putting it, I could use this as a brush, but it is moving my foundation because I didn't powder. So I think this um, light is too light for me. Probably need to get the next shade up. So if you guys are my skin tone, the light is too light. Okay, let's keep going. I also got her highlighter palette. This is Light Work. This is number one. I mean, she has another palette, Light Works 2. And this is what the palette looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face and I'll be right back. Okay, I put a light dusting of powder on. Let's go ahead and try these Danessa Myricks Highlight Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you. This was, this one is like duh. Whoa. The second one is Common Sense. <laughs> the next one is Piece of Cake. Look at that, that is crazy. Okay, outer space, here I come. Or takes away the attention from my hyperpigmentation. Okay, this next one is easy breezy. Ooh, I kinda like that one. The next one is no prob. And then the last one is smooth sailing. So there are the swatches from her Lightworks palette. Okay, which color should we use? I think I'm gonna use Common Sense. So I'm just gonna take a little fan brush, put that into Common Sense, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna just stipple that on and see how that works. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna brush it on. I forgot I had put powder on just now, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? With, without. With, without. Okay, let me do this side. And I do bring my highlighter down because my hyperpigmentation comes up to right there. And it does a good job of taking the attention away from the hyperpigmentation. I think this color might be a little dark for me. Okay, let's try something else. So I also got three other cream products. So these products are both are for the eyes, lip, and cheek. So I got this one in Vision Flush. I got the Color Fix Foil in the color Milky Way. And then I got the matte one in Exposed. So let's go ahead and try these products out. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of Exposed right onto the back of my hand. Now these are supposed to be really pigmented, so I only took a little, little bit. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 203 brush and I'm gonna blend that out a little bit and then take that look at the color That this is exposed and I'm gonna take that onto my eye and use that kind of as a one and done And it's very highly pigmented and you can see that there so I want to have more color on the outer portion and then blend that up And it blends beautifully now this is supposed to be like long wearing so that's good for people like me with oily skin. So let me go ahead and do that on this side too. And it's already drying on my hand. Okay, there's that color. Let's go ahead and try the foil. This one is in Milky Way. 
I'm going to put a little bit of that right there. And I'm just going to use my finger this time. Spread that around a little bit. And let's put that on. Whoa. That is beautiful. Do you see that? And this dries down pretty quick too. Okay, I got a little more on that side, so let me even this out. It doesn't look as foil to me more than glitter. Oh well, no, that, I take that back. Now that I press more on there, it's more of a foiled look. After I press that in, I'm gonna go back in with my BK Beauty brush and I'm gonna blend out the edges. This does set down fast though. Okay, what do you guys think? Whoa, I think that's a little too foiled and glittery for me. Wow, if you're looking for something with high impact, there you have it. Okay, let's try this. I got mine in the color Vision Flush. I'm gonna put a little bit of this onto the back of my hands. This is the color Vision Flush. I like how she has that color right there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this right onto the back of my hand. And let's try using this as a blush. I'm going to go back in with my Zo Zoeva face brush and I'm going to stipple that out just to make sure I don't get too much color. Oh, it's highly pigmented. Oh, look at how pretty that is. <gasps> That's pretty. And you know what? I'm noticing it goes on well over foundation, over set face. This side is splotchy. This side went on so good, but this side is so splotchy. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm gonna have to keep trying this out. See how good this side looks? See how splotchy this side looks? That's weird. That is way weird. Let me take the foundation brush and try stippling that a little bit. That is so weird. Well, I'm gonna take the rest of it and put it on my lips. Ooh, it gives the lip a nice stain. It's very thin, you can't really feel it. I don't smell an odor, but, hmm. Okay, let me tie line my waterline, put on my mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is my almost full face of Danessa Myricks. Let's go ahead and talk about the products. So I've already done a review on her Vision Cream Cover. I do like it when it's super light. It does not take um, it doesn't emphasize my pores, but I didn't put in a pore filling primer today. I just wanted to use it by itself. A little goes a long way. So my color is N04. So I'm happy I got these in the samples. This could last you a really long time. Okay, then the balm contour. This is beautiful. I love it. I think this will work well over set powder as well. Let's go ahead and try it. Because I already set my face. Yeah and it's not moving my foundation face products around. So that is really good. I highly recommend this, especially if you're interested in trying like the Tom Ford. I think this might be a good alternative for much less of a price. I do like her highlighter palette. Now the only thing with this is it's a beaming highlight, which is not my preference, but it is beautiful. Look at that. I don't know how much I'm gonna reach for this because I do go for more of a natural highlight, but look at that, that's beautiful. So this is a win for me too, especially if you're looking for beaming highlights. Now the bronzer, I got mine in the color light and it's too light, so I'm gonna to have to try it in a deeper color because this is too light for me, it's like my skin tone. So I'll have to try this in a diff different color and see if it works better. Now these color fix, I love the matte. I think I'm gonna look for a lighter color so maybe I could do a one and done. This color fix is not my jam. Um, it's too glittery for me, so, but that's mine, but it performed well. And I did have to layer it up a bit, so I'm not a big fan of this, but I will definitely try more of her matte shades. Now this blush, in the color Vision Flush. This side worked really well, but this side got splotchy, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to use this. I do like it on my lips. It gives my lips a lip stain. I can't feel it on my lips now. It's still, it's more of a pigment than a gloss or a lipstick. 
So I like it for that. So I'll keep using that as well. Okay, I forgot to get her powder. I forgot to get her emollient highlighter. I so that's a full face of almost Vanessa Myricks. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will continue using these products until the end of the month and give you my final thoughts in the product roundup. Now that I gave you all of my final thoughts, let's talk about the giveaway. Once again, thank you so much for following me on this journey. It's been a slow growth, but every time you share with a friend or even click on a video, whether you give me a thumbs up, comment or not, it helps my channel grow and I'm so appreciative of it. So for the giveaway, let me show you what I have. I just got a few of my favorite products and first one is from Suku. I got the Signature Color Collection. For the giveaway, I got one of my favorite colors and this is the 06. This is the green palette that came out this spring. This is beautiful. So a lucky winner will get this. I also got the Suku blush palette in 101. This is one of my favorite blush palettes. So I thought I'd give one of you guys this as well. This is beautiful. Then the last thing I got is a Rouge Coco Bloom. I got this in the color 140 Alive. And I love these. I ordered more of these, but I thought I would get one for you. And this is what the color looks like, 140 Alive. Okay, so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and leave your Instagram handle or an email where I can reach you. And I'm going to keep this giveaway open until March 31st at noon Pacific Standard Time. And at that time, I will go ahead and pick a winner. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next time.